Knight of Swords in reverse. Wow, that's a lot of lack of communication or just like a complete no communication zone right now, okay? I thought you both are holding back because you don't have enough information uh, and you don't want to jump into something and act impulsively or you're purposely holding back because you want the other person to make a move. Take it out, resonates. Your feelings, their feelings. The blockages. The action you want to take, the action they want to take, and the outcome. All right. Sagittarius, your feelings towards this person is the sun in reverse here. So you feel that everything's unclear right now, okay? You're extremely confused right now. There's a lot of confusion around this situation and there's a lack of clarity, like I said. Lack of clarity, again, because you guys are not communicating, okay? Someone's taken a step back is what I'm getting, okay? And that's why you just don't know where this is heading. And because of that, you're lacking optimism in this situation, okay? You're looking at everything in a very dark way. Everything's very pessimistic. Everything looks very negative to you, okay? But I also feel that you're taking things too seriously. Could be, all right? Their feelings towards you is the five of swords, okay? So this person is probably um, in their ego, okay? The five of swords is, again... More than ego, I'm getting someone who who's very self-sabotaging, okay? Someone's trying to self-sabotage this connection, all right? And this is someone who's in denial. But at the same time, this is someone who will do anything to win an argument or win a battle, okay? But they will make their own loss. This is someone who has an empty victory, all right? They may win, but actually they, you know, they may win, but they lost everything, okay? Or it's almost like they didn't win anything by this argument, if you get what I'm saying, empty victory, okay? They just get nothing back, even if they win. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse as the, as the mutual energy? Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse as the mutual energy? You guys are stalking. You guys both, you both want to talk, Okay. But um, with the page of swords here, you guys are watching, stalking, spying, looking at each other. You want to talk to each other, but again, you're holding back. With the Knight of Pentacles here in reverse, right? I feel that there's someone here who's codependent on something or someone, okay? Could be someone who's codependent on someone financially, or there's a lot of clingy and neediness out here, okay? So someone's just being very needy out here. They don't have enough confidence in themselves is what I'm getting, okay? This is someone who's not okay on their own. And with the four of wands here, I feel that this this is this person here who wants who is hell bent on having a commitment with you, or you're hell bent on having a commitment with this person, right? Give me one more card for the page of swords in reverse. Someone's trapped in their head, big time, big time. With the eight of swords here, okay, someone's living in their head. This is someone who's paralyzed by fear. They're making scenarios and thoughts in their head that don't really exist. This is overanalyzing and overthinking a situation, all right? And this is what happens when you're spying and stalking and trying to make nothing, making a mountain out of a molehill, okay? Why is the sun in reverse? You're feeling really blue. Why is the sun in reverse? This is a lot of sadness and depression. That's the sun in reverse here. Okay, because again, like I said, there's a lot of confusion, okay, around this situation. And with the queen of wands in reverse here, I feel that either you, you're, 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 you're being very, very controlling in this situation, okay, or you're playing a lot of head games. You feel this person's playing head games with you, and that's why there's a lot of confusion around this situation, all right? With the seven of cups, you're being very overwhelmed with the situation. You just don't know what's going on again confusion too much going on or uh, too many options or um, you're just overwhelmed with what direction should you do or which approach should you take or what should you make out of the situation okay and with the queen of wands in reverse here i feel you're trying to control the situation you're being very very controlling or you're trying to play head games with this person or this is what you think the opposite person is doing with you all right why is this person in the five of swords try for the five of swords 
Can we unlock that? The Nine of Wands in reverse. Can we unlock that? The Nine of Wands in reverse. This person that you're dealing with, right, they have a lot of love for you, okay? But they're just not ready to open up or be vulnerable to you with the page of cups in reverse here. Yeah, this person tries to avoid and ignore the situation as much as they can, okay? They're very sneaky. It's almost like they're trying to sneak inside, okay? They're trying to sneak, sneak their way inside or they're just trying to be very uh, strategic. I'm getting more of ignoring. This person is wearing a false mask, okay? They're being very deceptive because with the page of cups in reverse here, yeah, this person is suppressing their emotions. They're not wanting to be op uh, um, emotionally vulnerable you could be dealing with someone who's emotionally very very immature very immature and you on the other side are picking up on that energy and with the queen of wands in reverse i feel you're losing the interest and passion within this person there could have been a time once where you were very very action oriented where you were very forthcoming in this relationship but now you're holding back because now you're like whoa i have no clarity i don't know where this go this is going and it's just getting more and more confusing day by day this person with a five of swords and the nine of wands in reverse and the king of cups. So what I'm getting is that this person has a lot of love for you, okay? But this is not someone who is the best at expressing their emotions. This person could have had trust issues with you or maybe they had trust issues with the past with whatever they were dealing with, okay? But I feel that they're putting their cards down. They're putting their cards down. Maybe this person, person does not feel the need to be uh, scared from you, okay? But they have a habit of self-sabotaging, okay? And with the nine of wands in reverse here, it's almost like this person is like, screw it. But more than screw it, I'm getting that this person is probably ready to learn. They're ready to forgive and learn uh, from their mistakes. And uh, they're getting their guard on because this person could have been very, very high guard with uh, their guards would have been very, very high up with you. So you could have always found it very difficult to reach through them, okay? But I think this person realizes that they love you a lot, okay? So their guards are going down. And with the five of swords here, I feel that... Um, I'm getting like they feel the need to stand up for themselves, okay? Your blockage is the six of cups here. Why is the six of cups here as the blockage? Is it the past? Is, is the past a blockage? Why is the Six of Cups here? So what I'm getting is that someone could be living in the past, which could be a blockage, okay? Someone who's just not letting go of the past, okay? They're living in the past. And probably in the past with the Five of Pentacles here, this person could have had abandonment issues. This person could have felt very lonely. This person could have felt left out. Someone could have left them out in the cold and they could have just been shut down, all right? And now this person is very, very afraid. So I think it's the past that is haunting them. And that's your biggest blockage out here. Again, this person has huge abandonment issues, huge. They want to offer stability to you, okay? They want to move forward with you. They want this commitment. They want this long term with you, okay? But with the Ace of Cups in reverse here, this person is very, very scared to open up emotionally. And with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse here, I feel that is why this person is not putting in the effort because they're fearing, fearing lack of reciprocity. They don't know that if they start putting in the work and this and effort in this relationship, will you be able to put in the same back or will you just back out? Will, if, what if they open up uh, emotionally to you? You know, like, will you just, I mean, um, just take advantage of them? Will you take them for granted, etc.? That's one of the biggest fears and why this person is not opening up, okay? They're emotionally very, very shut down and that's why they're not investing into this relationship it can also be that this person is probably digging themselves into work and burying themselves into work to try and distract themselves from this situation why is the knight of cups here you want to move forward with them why is the knight of cups here yeah see you want to take control of the situation. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? 
see, you want something very candid, okay? You want cutthroat communication. You want you want it to keep you want them to keep it very real, okay? So with the Knight of Cups, the Emperor, and the Ten of Cups in reverse, okay? So what I'm getting is that this is a connection that you're. I mean, this was once a very strong connection, okay, that you felt, but now this connection is draining you out. It's almost like you're not happy without them at all, and now you want to open up. Okay, you want to be vulnerable. You want to make them this love offer. Okay, I'm with the emperor here. I feel you. You're setting healthy boundaries, and you want to take control of the situation. You're bossing up. You're ready to make boss moves. You're ready to give a structure, and you're ready to give in stability and make a very logical decision towards this person, because you're just not happy without this person. Okay, you're not happy without this person at all. It's almost like you're wanting to follow your heart this time. And take control of the situation is what I'm getting. This person, however you're dealing with, right, is very, very emotionally shut off. You guys are completely contradictory energies, okay? You're dealing with the Queen of Cups in divorce here and you're the Knight of Cups. So you know what I'm getting here? That this person could have given and given and given for a very long time, okay? And now because the, they gave so much, right, and because they had no uh, clarity from your side and you didn't take action in the past, right, so now this person is so hurt, they're emotionally shutting down themselves and uh, they're very hurt. Okay, so this person probably is someone who always used to give a very emotional approach to the situation, very compassionate, but this time they're being very cold and detached from you. Okay, they're very hurt with whatever has happened around and now they're closing off. And I think when they're closing off, right, here you are wanting to take control of the situation. That's when you're stepping in. But see, you're the knight. You're in and out, in and out, in and out is what I'm getting. That's why they're sensing this um, element of unreliability from you is what I'm getting. That's why this person has so much of love for you, but they're just not ready to open up. It's like they're, they're, they're walking away is what I'm getting in their feelings. With the Five of Swords, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and the King of Cups. I feel this person is walking away from mind games because they don't want to fight no more. They don't want any conflict with you. And with the Nine of Wands in reverse here, it's like, screw it. I am done. I cannot push through anymore. Although I have a lot of love for you, I'm walking away. And you, on the other hand, right? You're just not being able to grow up. I think you're acting very, very immature. I'm with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you're trying to control the situation, okay? It's almost like you're being very pushy, very demanding, or you're trying to play head games, okay? And that, in turn, is making you even more confused because probably you're very overwhelmed with the entire situation is what I'm getting. So one person here is very affected with their past, okay? They're still living in their past. And because of the past, they have a lot of abandonment issues is what I'm getting. Apply for the Queen of Cups in reverse. So now this person wants to open up and take control of the situation because they're not being happy without you. And this person is shut down. Clap the Queen of Cups in reverse. So with the world, the Page of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so that's... That's, that's the side which is a little codependent, okay? The person you're dealing with, they're very clingy, very codependent, okay, on you. They cannot live without you. This is someone who just wants to be in a relationship, all right? Doesn't have to be that wants to be in a relationship anyhow. It's almost like they are very codependent on you. You make them very, very happy, all right? And you're probably someone who likes to take their own time, all right? And that's what's really, really screwing their head, okay? So that's why they feel you're playing mind games. But probably you're just someone who likes to take things very slow. All right. With a page of wands in the world here, okay, so this person wants to start a new cycle with you, okay? They want to communicate with you because, again, this person wants you very, very badly. But at the same time, they're trying to show you that they're being emotionally very, very detached and very cold towards you. They're not wanting to express their feelings towards you. The likely outcome is the four of swords in reverse. Let's see what this is. Why is the four of swords in reverse here? Try for the chariot. for the chariot. Back for the chariot. Okay. So we have the four of swords with the chariot and the tower in reverse as your likely outcome. So what I'm getting is that there's someone here who's finally going to come out of isolation, out of 
if you guys are on a break, someone's going to finally come and talk. They want forward moment with you, right? But with it, because if the tower in reverse, this person wants to avoid a disaster, all right? This person doesn't want things to end between you guys. So this is what the outcome is. One of you, or both of you, right? I'm feeling that uh, this person out here, right, who was really very closed off before, now they're finally going to come out and express their feelings, okay? Because they want forward moment with you and they don't want things to end. They're resisting and ending to the situation. They want a moment to calm waters with you and they're going to come in and apologize to you or they're just going to offer you at least an olive branch, all right? And let's talk. Someone is wanting to raise the white flag out here because with the Nine of Cups here, you make them very, very happy. It's almost like an emotional fulfillment card, okay? It's like a wish fulfillment card. And with the Six of Swords here, I feel this person wants to make forward progress with you after a period of break or after a period of lack of communication. That's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. That'd be really cool. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.